often tell you on this show, don't we, about wonderful performers, particularly wonderful performers that I've been lucky enough to meet. And we're talking about a man that really was, well, something of a legend for decades over here in the United Kingdom, known around the world all thanks to his spectacular success way back in the mid-50s as the host of Sunday Night at the London Palladium, where he welcomed so many international stars to the stage, including Mario Lanza, Sammy Davis Jr., Nat King Cole. Sadly, many of those particular episodes have been wiped due to the fact that videotape back then was allegedly very expensive. We're talking, of course, about a man who created many of his own catchphrases. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Didn't he do well? Yes, it's the one and only Sir Bruce Forsyth. Now, Bruce, of course, shot back to fame as the host of Strictly Come Dancing in the early noughties, taking it to spectacular success. Obviously, there are other versions of it around the world, but it all started with Bruce's version for the BBC. And even then, he created yet another catchphrase, you're my favourite. As I say, I was lucky enough to meet Bruce on many different occasions. A wonderful man, extremely talented, very funny, could play many instruments, and above all, really had star power. I think that's why a lot of the international performances, like the late Judy Garland and many others, really enjoyed sharing a stage with him. He knew how to work an audience. Sadly, like everybody, he had to depart us, but now his memory could live on for you. Because Bruce did like the star power, you know? He liked to be seen as a superstar. And his 1971 Rolls Royce is now going up for auction. Absolutely. And you too, if like me, have a spare £50,000 to £60,000 could buy it. Now this is truly a collector's item because it's kept in absolutely top-notch condition. And I think people like that, don't they? And simply the fact of who it belonged to. But this is no ordinary Rolls, oh no. He squired around many leading ladies during his time in this particular role, and more importantly, had many international superstars, of which he gave many lifts to. He told me when I met him on one of the occasions that the favourite star that he truly enjoyed appearing with on stage was none other than the late and brilliant Nat King Cole. What a voice, what a presence, eh? But you see, as I said in the intro, sadly they didn't keep all of that, you know, they didn't keep those tapes back then. It was very sad when you think about it because those moments are lost in time. He was also a huge favourite with the British monarchy, hosting the Royal Variety and Royal Command performance on many different occasions. But it's now your chance, if you fancy, to own a little bit of showbiz glitz, glamour and memorabilia. But as I often say here on the show, we just need a little bit of money. So if you've got 50, 60 thousand pounds down the back of the sofa, then you too could be driving around like the late and brilliant Sir Bruce Forsyth. And didn't he do well? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.